Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Whenever you're watching this, know that I appreciate you. It is Tuesday. Tuesday, October 30th, 2018. And today is my oldest child's birthday. So happy birthday to him. I've already, of course, texted and acknowledged and all of that great stuff. So he knows that mom did not forget and that mom loves him. Um, it's warm in his car and I'm not turning the air on. I just left the library because I had checked out, and I think I mentioned this before, five books. Some people are just not so smart sometimes. Um, I checked out some books and um, just returned oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. two of the three of the five. What in the world? Three of the five that I checked out. Now my car doesn't want to act right. This is insane. It was just fine, and now all of a sudden it doesn't want to behave. <sighs> Lord be offense. I know that my better is coming. I know my better is coming. Um, so yeah, I just returned three of the five that I had checked out because I just don't have the time to read like I want to read. So I did download their um, audiobook app so that I could still get the information that I want to get. Um, I am in the middle of my third course and I am loving it, loving it, loving it. I'm loving all of the nuggets and tidbits and, you know, things that I didn't have a clue about um, getting that information or even things that I did know something about, but I didn't know as much as I thought I did after listening to some of this stuff. Courses are um, online, and some of them are videos, and some of them are written. So, a lot of the stuff that I'm seeing and reading is, or hearing and reading, is just you know, like really beneficial to what I'm doing. I'm feeling so enthusiastic about what I am going to embark on within the next month or so uh, before the end of the year or right as the new year begins because this stuff is just amazing to me. I've gotten just topics to, I'm sorry, I'm paying attention to the car in front of me that keeps breaking. Um, I've gotten topics to write on and research and you know, inquire about, and this stuff is just coming to me. I've been waking up at 3.30 in the morning for the last few nights, and I wasn't sure why, so typically what I do when that happens is I just pray, um, and, you know, eventually whatever it is that I need to get will come, whether it comes that night or the next night or that morning or the next morning, or even later on in the day, um, I just pray. And um, this morning, when I woke up at 3.30, he's like, okay, I've got two hours. I've got to get back to sleep. And it just wasn't happening. So I was like, you know what? I, and I did my, I prayed. I did, the, you know, I prayed like I was supposed to. And like when I say like I was supposed to, I mean, this is something that I normally do. Um, so I felt like it, you know, this is routine. I do this and not routine in a bad way um, because prayer is never bad if you're praying for the right thing um, so anyway I woke up 3.30 realized that I wasn't going right back to sleep so I prayed still wasn't going right back to sleep so I, was, so I said to God I asked God okay what is it that you want me to do because 
need to get some sleep. And if I'm not going to get more sleep, I need you to make me feel rejuvenated as if I had gotten all of my hours of sleep. So what is it that well, what is it that you want me to do in these wee hours? And by this time, I think it was probably 4, 4.30. And um, he said, this is what I want you to do. So he gave me an assignment. And I was like, okay. And, and when he gave it to me, it just started rolling. It just rolled and rolled and rolled. It's like, okay, God, I need you to hold that in my, in my brain so that when I wake up in the morning, I can write it all down. He said, no, you're going to get up right now. So I got up and went and got my notepad, the, the little one that I keep in my purse because I knew that I would probably add to it, and uh, my little journal. And I got up and I said, hey, this is what God said, so let me go ahead and do that thing. And um, so I started writing. And I was, some of it is legible, <laughs> some of it isn't. I was doing it in the semi-dark. I used the flashlight on my phone so that I could see, but you know, it's kind of bright, so I didn't want it to wake my husband. And, uh, what are they doing? Oh my gosh. So I, I didn't want it to wake my husband because it was, you know, too bright. So, but I got it done. I, I wrote that stuff down and then later in the day, or actually not even later in the day, I lay back down after I wrote those things and put them away. And as I was actually preparing for the day, he gave me, before I started preparing, and I'm sorry, I know I'm rambling, but I'm trying to get this out because I'll be getting out of the car soon. Um, but before I got out of the bed, he gave me a song. I was like, well, but that's not the song, Lord, for the next chapter. And I was trying to remember the words and really trying to get it together. And it just wasn't coming to me. And I'm like, no, that's not the song I'm thinking of. But when I got the lyrics together, the, the chorus, as a matter of fact, when I got it together, I was like, oh, that is the song for the next chapter. I had one song that I thought was a song that it needed to be for the next chapter, but as I got the chorus together for the song that was stuck in my head, I realized that that was the song that I was really, um, really trying to grasp and not the one I thought it was. So I was so very glad that he gave me the song for the next chapter. Um, and it's not like I'm going to have a song, um, a video with the song. That's not the case, but it's something that I'll be referring to, um, in the writing. So I'm so very excited. I'm so very enthusiastic about what is about to happen. And, you know, I got to where, and I see confirmation um, in almost everything. And I think I've said that before in, a, in another video that I may or may not have posted. I don't even know yet. Um, I don't even remember. But I, I see confirmation in almost everything. So I haven't listened to Pandora. And, and no, Pandora is not sponsoring anything that I say. But I haven't listened to it in about a week and a half maybe maybe two weeks might have been longer but I hadn't listened to it in a while and um, I said okay well I can't study right now I, I've got work to get done so while I'm getting this work done because music helps me move along um, so while I'm getting this work done I'll listen to Pandora and I'm listening the first song that came on the very first song that came on was this is your is it, this is your season or this is your time but it's by Donald Lawrence and um, his his choir and that was the first song that I mean instantly started. And I was like okay that's it I'm done because that speaks if you listen to the lyrics 
especially in the live broadcast, if you listen to the lyrics, you will get an understanding of what I'm talking about. But everything, everything that I have heard from God in the last Bees trying to get in. I'm sorry. Everything that I've heard from God in the last three to four months was in that song. And I just I I was almost on the floor because I was like, okay, this this and I'm I hate to keep saying like, 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 because I don't like when people do that. Um, because there are other words, there are other terms. But anyway, so I was just about on the floor because like I said everything that just about everything that God has said to me in the last three to four months was in that song um, almost verbatim um, and when I say almost verbatim it was like it was akin to God saying okay today you're gonna see five rocks and one of those rocks is going to be Four of those rocks are going to be gray, but one of them is going to be white, and they're just going to be lined up. And in the song, I may have heard, okay, and it might have been in the ad lib part, you know, where someone says, okay, there were five rocks, and four of those five were gray, and the other one was a different color. That's what this was akin to. God said to me, A, B, C, and in this song, A, B, C was being spoken. So I was even more encouraged by that. And some people will get this and some people won't, and that's okay if you don't. Um, and I'm not saying that, you know, just because I get it or someone else may get it that we are better than you. It's just we're at different levels. You know, not that one level is better than another level. It's just that we're at different levels. So if you don't get it, I understand. It's okay. You don't get it. But if you do get it, you really get it. So, yeah, I'm really very encouraged by everything that's happening. Uh, for a while, I could not hear from God. For a while... I could not write. The words were not coming to me. They just started coming within the last like three to four months. Like I said, that's when I began hearing him again. That's when he began speaking to me and downloading things into me. And now the words are almost freely flowing. And my therapist is telling me that I need to start using my voice recorder more because she feels as if, you know, that would be more beneficial to me. And I totally understand. And in some cases I agree using my voice recorder would be more beneficial in some instances. But with the connection that I have right now, the, the, the whatever it is that's going on, because I am a writer and I am, I am accepting the assignment or the title of writer, a lot of times I can't speak it. I have to write it down and then speak it. Or I have to speak it and then write it down. Or I'm doing it simultaneously. It I don't always get the, the pass to not write but speak only. I don't that's just not the way that God has programmed my life. That's just not the way that He has set me up. Um some people can speak and speak and speak and speak and they record it and that's all they need to do. And some people have to write. And I'm one of those people where writing just makes it make more sense. I mean, the word says, write the vision, make it plain. And I 95% of the time have to do just that. I have to write it out. Um, I remember being given an assignment by a... Um, she wasn't necessarily a recruiter, but she was more like a an employment um, coach of sorts. And she worked for an agency and they had these templates that you had to use. And um, it was a job placement center. And this was going, this was during the time where I was looking to switch careers, switch, um, hmm, 
arenas as I used to call it, but you just the switch where I, what I was doing. I was looking to change some things up and I, I try to reevaluate that every few years. Um, but anyway, she was helping me go through this process and she says, okay, well, even if you don't write it down, type it up. And it was, I forget how many skills I had to do. There were several skills that she wanted me to write down. It was a skill um, worksheet, um, a skill set worksheet. And she wanted me to write everything down. And I said, okay, fine. She says, well, even if you don't write it down, even if you just type it up, then that's fine. And I said to her, the way that things are going right now, God is not going to allow me to just type it up. He's going to make me write it down. And I can attempt to type it up, but nine times out of 10, he's not going to allow me just to type it up. I will have to write it down first. And sure enough, I, I think tried three times to get this typed up in an email to her and it just, the words would not flow. Um, so I, I literally had to sit down and write. And as I began, they just began to flow with no problem. So I am not programmed that way. So while my therapist is correct in that um, using my voice record on my phone is beneficial, it's not always beneficial for me. Um, and that's just the way my makeup is. Um, so, But I'm not upset by it. The only time it becomes a little bit of an annoyance is when I am in the shower or when I am driving or I'm cooking and um, I can't write. So then I have to either say, God, I need you to hold that in my mind until I can sit down and write or I pull up the phone and the voice record on the phone and I record. Um, but even then, sometimes it's not something I want to do in front of others because a lot of times it's just a private thing between God and I. It's a thought that he's given me and I have to notate it or record it in writing. But if I, I can't write it, then I have to record it vocally. And if it's between God and I and there are other people around, I don't necessarily want to speak it out. So that becomes difficult because not everything that we know or not everything that God downloads into us or everything that we hear him say is supposed to be shared with everyone um, all of the time or right away. Um, this was like my, my child was asking me, oh, he's early. My child was asking me um, about what I was working on and I couldn't, couldn't tell. I couldn't say. So, yeah, not everything is supposed to be shared. So maybe that's today's word of wisdom. You can't share everything with everyone every time. All right. I've been in here. I've talked to you long enough. Peace and blessings. Remember to walk in your purpose and know that I appreciate you.